Matthew 7, verse number 13, the Bible reads, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. So when many people are rising up against King David, well, we already know that many people aren't saved. Many people already are not having their trust in the Lord, so it ought not to be a great surprise to us when many people rise up against the man of God. Look at uh, verse number 23 in Luke 13. This is basically a parallel passage with what, we, what I just read in Matthew 7. Luke 13, 23, Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate, for many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. And there, there's that word again, many. There's many people are, are going to try, they're going to try to get in. They're going to seek to enter in, but they're not going to be able to. When once the master of the house has risen up and has shut to the door, and ye begin to stand without and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. Then shall you begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence ye are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and you yourselves thrust out. And they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, there are last which shall be first and there are first which shall be last. There are few that are saved. Both, verse, both passages in Scripture, Luke 13 and, Mar and Matthew chapter 7, both confirm this. And what's What's interesting about that, what's funny about that, what's ironic about that is that salvation is so easy. It's so free. It's, it's, it's so simple to be saved. All you have to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's what the Bible says. It's not hard as in, you see, you know, people who believe in a works-based salvation, they look at this going, well, the reason why, you know, few people are saved is because it's just so hard to live right, and it's so hard to do right, and if you're good enough, then you'll make it. But that couldn't be farther from the truth, because none of us are good enough. It is too hard. It's way too hard. It's so hard that instead of many that wouldn't be able to enter, it would be all. It would just be nobody can enter in. Instead of few being saved, it would be zero saved. Because it's not based on works, but what it is based off of is faith. If it were based off of uh, even a faith in works, well, then most people would be saved, because that's what most people believe. Most people believe you have to do good works to be saved. But that's not how it operates. Obviously, it's just based on our faith. And there are few that actually believe that. There's few that have humbled themselves to be able to receive the free gift of God and stop trusting in themselves and put all of their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to save them. There are a few, and it's sad, and it's unfortunate, especially when you realize how easy it is. It's a sad fact, but you know what? That's what the Bible says, and I believe it. That's what Jesus said. I believe it.